Mandrew School, Walkerville. They've got a private footbridge over Smith Street at Walkerville. Public do not have access to this footbridge in any way. South Parklands Adelaide, South Terrace, a pedestrian footbridge across South Terrace. And Portland Grammar School. South Terrace, King William Street intersection with the tram line. Parents coming to collect their students at the end of the day. So the school has given a small portion of its property for the down ramp on the northern side. This is St Peter's College, which is a boys' school of about 2,000 students. And you see the spire of the Royal Hall school house. At the end of each day a large number of boys who live in the northeast the northern suburbs would love to go catch a bus. They have to we have to negotiate across a very busy six lanes of road and two lanes of bus lanes and the turf war wars occurred. This side of the road is Botanic Park, which actually is not part of the Adelaide Parklands. It's actually owned by the South Australian Government and it's gov South Australian Government land and it's not paying any rates and taxes to this Adelaide City Council. The City of Adelaide, however, benefits from all of the people who come to concerts and other events which occur in Botanic Park, staying in the city, and because of the lack of pedestrian overpass, access to this park is quite difficult. You have to use active transport, in other words, you have to walk here. The state government and St Peter's College are keen for a pedestrian overpass at this point, but Adelaide City Council because it doesn't own the land on this side of the road is refusing to be part of any joint funding even though it would greatly benefit the city to have such a pedestrian pass here and the council on the other side of the road which has got a three part name Plainham, St Peter's and Woolworth City Council is not part of the agreement either. So at the moment no pedestrian pass is being built here even though there's an obvious need for one. Space is very limited on the eastern side of Hackney Road and this press releases are saying that the school is even prepared to make a small section of land available for the other side of the pedestrian overpass or underpass. Plain Tree Drive, an example of some of the events which are held in Botanic Park on a regular basis, making it one of the most visited venues in the whole of Adelaide. from 
from St Peter's College doing a U-turn after picking up their sons. This is the bus stop closest to St Peter's College and to Franklin Drive. It's closed during the construction of the overnight system. During the Fringe Festival, this car park becomes a temporary bus stop for the events which occur in the Temple Park. It's not clear at the moment where the bus stop is going to be on this side of the road when the access tunnel is finished. At the moment, pedestrians are going to be at ground level having to go across busy lanes. And this path might be this a suitable site for a pedestrian crossing similar to a Cotton Grammar School over South Terrace and the one for St Andrews. Adelaide Zoo is one of the major attractions in Adelaide and this is the main entrance now for buses. I want to avoid congestion on the front. The flagman's actually letting us go through. Thank you, good morning again. Flagman's helping us out again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.